Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. Last time around we were in the middle of a quest given by an innkeeper uh, where we have to collect uh, bars of gold that are counterfeited that he sent off mistakenly and bring it back to him so that he doesn't get in trouble with the organizations he sent the gold to. Or at least I think that's just about right. We'll check our log here and remind ourselves. Um, where is it? Yeah, secret mission regarding one roading Leo Smith... Oh, no, that's that's not the one. It's, uh, let's see. This one right here. False gold he gave his allies. So we already found the bar of gold that was in the palace in Fergius and the one that was in the bank of Fergius. So we have to go to two more places now. The, uh, let's see, where is it? The, the Harthing residence in Coppersley Manor. And then, where is the other one? Buckingford Tower. That must be it. So that must be, like, the stronghold that we have to go to. So we could go to either of those places right now. Um, we can actually check the quality of this armor. Uh, this is this is like a medium quality armor, so we could con could consider selling our goods here. But given that we have, I think, lots of wagon space, we might as well wait till we go back to Daggerfall and we can go to like a place that will maximize our profits. Um, so the only thing that we could consider doing is putting some money in the bank, uh, because obviously money is causing us to have a lot of carry weight here. Um, Oh, this is kind of nice. It actually tells you how much money you have in every uh, region in your bank there. That's actually pretty useful. So you have currently have approximately 300,000 in the Bank of Daggerfall and 10,000 in the Bank of Sentinel that we left there for when we went back. And actually, we could just leave our money in the bank and then retrieve it after we're done. So let's put the money in the bank in Fergius. This is a bank, right? Let's put our... Well, we'll put it in all our letters of credit first, if we have any. Let's see. Deposit all our letters of credit. Okay, we didn't even have any letters of credit, so we can just put all this straight cash in the bank since we don't need it right now. And we can retrieve it after we're done with the quest. That way we have a lot of inventory space to get loot. Um, and now, I suppose we can go to the dungeon first. Um, let's see which, what it was called again. Uh, let's see. Bucking Ford Tower. Okay. It's all the way over there. That's quite a while away. So now we're in the east of Phrygius, up north. Or actually, I guess more in the south of Phrygius. Let's see. Yeah, south, southeast of Phrygius, even though overall in the world it's quite high. <clears throat> so. It's quite a nice view, actually. No guards appear to be on patrol. It's, best, it's your best chance to get in quietly. Oh, so this is like a... A tower of its own. That's a War Mash's encounter. So I guess maybe we can be attacked by guards potentially. But if we hop in here. And holy crap, the textures look really interesting and good in here. Hello. Wait a minute, that's kind of interesting. I feel like this uh, this NPC looks of, like really low quality. I wonder if that's... Hmm, that's that is interesting. Like this, this that NPC looked very, very low quality compared to most NPCs we usually fight. I wonder if that's a, a mod problem. I guess we'll find out as we continue to explore this dungeon whether that could be a problem with uh, one of the mods. Let's see. So let's throw, well, actually, we'll set a recall spell real quick. Set an anchor right here. And now we're going to access our wagon and we'll throw in all of this. And then let's see what we're going to want to use. Uh, we don't need our curse that gives us charisma for sure um we might want to keep venom antidote just in case so i think we'll keep everything else uh and let's actually just rest here i'll, I'll use this a few times before we rest perfect and now we can put on our equipment for dungeon crawling and the very last thing that we'll want to do is just cast a uh, light spell or put on our lantern. Let's see. And now we can save the game and begin our exploration of this area. Wraith just died. Hello. This uh, NPC looks like the proper quality of the rogue. Oh, a lock. I hate locks so much. 
the open spell never works, and I don't want to bash it open with this. Oh boy. We'll switch to the steel claymore. Also, we want to keep our eyes out. Wait. Oh yeah, this is the person we killed. We want to keep our eyes out on the ground for the little bar of gold we're looking for here. Come on, open up. This is just not budging, is it? Honestly, this is... <laughs> it does a lot of damage. It's not even that much different from our, like, buffed up Daedric weapon, so... Um, I wonder if I should just use... Save our Daedric Longsword for really difficult encounters. Let's see, condition slightly used. What's the condition of this, I wonder? New. Um... Actually, I think maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll pull out, like, uh, a non-enchanted weapon, because we really should save our enchanted weapon for when it's absolutely necessary, since it will degrade over time, and it was quite valuable of a weapon to use. Let's see. I do want to access my wagon. Well, we can throw all this in. We'll keep uh, this... Well, we'll keep the steel claymore for breaking doors down, but I think our adamantium daikatana is what we'll use for fighting, generally speaking. Now, as if dungeon crawling and finding items in dungeons wasn't hard enough we're now going to have to do going to have to do so with one of the most tiny minuscule items that was even hard to spot in a bank uh, a bank sized interior so this could be a difficult one no guarantees that we'll find it but it seemed like we could just find as many as we possibly could rather than all of them and that'd be fine oh hello Rafe all right now for this we actually will need to pull out our adamantium All right, sir. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Look at the glistening on these walls, though, these green walls. It's really a... Uh, it's eerie. I really like it. This is obviously one of the dream textures, I assume, that's doing this. Okay, this is what I'm talking about right here. Hold on, let me save the game. 538. So, as you can see, this NPC, not of like, this is like the non-dream NPC. So I think, huh, I wonder if this could be the helmet swap uh, mod. So I'll explain it in a second once I take him out. So that's a barbarian, so, oh, hello. Ooh, holy crap, is that like an orc warlord? Interesting. So... I have this mod called Helmet Swap that basically makes... Holy shit, we got a Daedric Die Katana. That's me clapping. That is... And a Daedric Mace. So this is obviously the best weapon uh, in the game that we can get. Uh, so that's... Very excited about that. We finally got it, boys. Beautiful. That just looks sexy as hell, if I do say so myself. And we got this Daedric Mace that we can sell. Um, that's awesome. Let's get this Die Katana out. So at that precise moment in the recording, uh, my computer ran out of storage and did not record the rest of the episode. So yeah, as you can see, I'm now outside, uh, and I thought I had been recording uh, for quite a while after we were in that dungeon, but I in fact was not. So I thought I would just update everyone on what happened uh, when my recording failed. Uh, if you'll remember, I saved right here, uh, and I'll explain what happened, by the way, why this NPC isn't high quality uh, in a second has to do with the helmet swap mod, as I was just mentioning. But after that, we obviously found the Daedric Die Katana, which was really nice. And we ended up finding the other gold bar that was in this dungeon. Uh, it ended up being in one of the water sections, so we used water breathing to go down there and get it. Uh, and then we went and actually got retrieved the fourth gold bar from uh, the town that we had to go to. Got involved in a little bar fight, uh, which you can see here on the screen here. Uh, and then pretty much just returned the, the quest. So that's all that, that was really missed. Um, so yeah, I apologize for that cut in the video there. Second time in a row this has happened, which is kind of sad, but that's how it is. So we finished the quest that we got last time, um, but the quest I was going to do in the next episode, but I'm all just basically conjoining two episodes into two here since the first one got cut off very early. Uh, the, the quest I want to do now is the Cartographer's Guild quest. 
um, which I, I don't remember if the part where I got this quest uh, was recorded or not. I'm not sure if it happened after the recording failed or before. But regardless, we got a letter from the cartographers asking us to chart the Coven of Dust and Antiphilus. Uh, Coven of Dust, I assume, is a, a witch's coven, so we could actually do a quest for them once we get there. Um, and in order to get there, let's see where we have to go. We have to go to the joyous, re joyous rebirth of Stendar at Frigius. So we're obviously in Frigius right now, so let's look for the joyous, joyous rebirth. And let's see if we can get some instructions on how to get to the coven. Let's talk to you and see if we can find, I guess the Ashfield residence is probably, since that's the one coming up, northeast. This must be where the cartographer is. General Ashfield residence. Okay, still northeast. Can I mark, get it marked, please? Okay, it's straight east this time, not northeast, so I think it could be... I mean, it could definitely be this one right here. It'd be awesome if someone could just mark it on my map, though. Alright, let's just try this, uh, this building right here. Okay, that's not it, so we'll try this building. Okay, that's not it either. How about this one I think this is it because I think that's the cartographer right there all right Titian let's begin with your map see this temple perpetual sunrise of Mara in Antiphilos start there and walk northeast it'll be a couple minutes before you can see the coven in the distance but it should be easy to stop it's a stone dome with sand covering on top of it you'll have 64 days to do this okay just in case this doesn't get mar marked in our log completely I'm gonna take a quick picture of it with my phone Okay, so we go to the Perpetual Sunrise of Mar and Antiphilos and walk to the northeast. So, where is Antiphilos? I don't know what region that's in, but I'm just looking around here on my map. One area at a time. Antiphilos, where is Antiphilos? Oh, it's all the way down here. Wow, we're going far away. Well, this is actually close to uh, Sentinel and Wayrest, which is where we're going ultimately for... Uh, quest, right? So, to the perpetual sunrise of Mara we go, quite a long ways away. Rodan Yeosmith will have absconded from Geddon's web by now to plot his revenge. Okay, this is weird, right? So, I thought that I completed this major skill quest, but it hasn't recorded me as having completed it. So I wonder if we should go back and try and complete this before we do, uh, the cartographer skill quest. Let's see here. Where is Yedin's web? It must be somewhere here, right? I I'm sure that I completed this quest already. Let's try just heading back. Let's see. There you are, fiend. Drop your weapons or be struck down from where you stand. Wait, you idiot. That isn't him. Ambushed by the, in the wilderness, you run into a party of bounty hunters looking for a notorious outlaw. Sorry about that. With a murder on large, everyone's on edge. That's pretty funny. Okay. So, wait. Have I been in here already? I haven't been in here. I could have sworn that we actually finished that quest uh, for the Mage's Guild, but I suppose we didn't. Based on the fact that it's still active. Here, let's turn on our lantern here. Oh, it has no fuel. Okay, well, that's all right. We can use our Light the Way spell. Doesn't everyone remember going in here? I, I remember going in here. We must have reloaded the save before we did this. We'll set a recall spell as well real quick. And just rest right here. And now, let's see. Get this on. We can throw in our dungeon crawling stuff here. And start looking for this individual. Wait, this uh, this enemy is dead here. Man, I could I could have sworn we've been here already. Uh, 
you know, we could just use the console to teleport to wherever he is, since I think we've already done this. Uh, yeah, look, look, this this person's dead. We've definitely been in here already. So, did we not find him, or what happened? I suppose we'll, let's just find out. Let's see. Telly to Q marker. We already killed this guy. <clears throat> so is the quest glitched? Do we never return it? I don't get it. We definitely finished this quest already. And if we, let's see, if we recall, and we actually go back to, let's see, who gave us this quest? Agristar Greensmith. I'm not sure. Uh, I think that's, that's Daggerfall, just the city of Daggerfall. You can travel to Daggerfall right now. Just remove my enchanted items real quick. And see if it's that we still have to return the quest. I assume perhaps it's just bugged in some way. Let's see here. I'm just gonna head straight to the south. If we stay all the way on the right, you won't run over any civilians by sprinting, I hope. Here's the, here's the major school right here. Okay, let, let's talk to the uh, guy here. My word, Titian, you have done us a great service. The damage to the major school would have suffered as an institution harboring a necromancer. In this administration, would have been beyond description. I will inform the Archmagister to take these magical tall boots. Okay, so I guess we just hadn't returned it. So now we actually returned it successfully. We Wow, we went up a ton in reputation. So now that quest should disappear from our log. Okay, it has. Nice. So now that we've actually done that, we can actually go do this cartographer's quest. So we're going to go back to Phrygius, find the joyous rebirth of Stendar again. Okay, the game didn't crash. I know why it took so long to load in, because the season has changed. It is now spring again, and you can see the, the very nice trees. Though they look so good, uh, just take a while to load in. So that's why the game looked like it was crashing. But oh, wow, look at that sky with the trees. Looks really, really good. Okay, this time we have an idea where we're going. I believe, which was the house? I think it was this one up here. This is it. Okay, so we have the, we have the same instructions from last time. So I already took a picture. We don't need to copy them down. Hello. And <clears throat> where are we heading here? Perpetual sunrise of Mara and Antiphilus. Okay. Before we, we travel, we'll save the game just in case. Anything here? Uh, and now we go to Antiphilus all the way in the desert over here and find the perpetual. Sunrise of Mara. And let's go. Okay. So we're meant to start here and go straight northeast, is that right? Let's see here, log. And go straight northeast. Okay. So let's start heading northeast. Right, so now that we have some breathing room and we're just sort of walking. Um... I can talk about the glitch going on uh, where there are certain enemies that seem to be in low resolution texture, <clears throat> which I was talking about at the end of the, the recording that failed uh, or stopped recording because I ran out of space, which was essentially what I figured out uh, is that the reason that we were seeing that is because of the helmet swap mod. So the helmet swap mod, as I think I mentioned, basically uh, is just a a mod for the new role-playing realism, uh, an adjustment for the new role-playing realism module, which basically makes barbarians only have horned helmets. But however it's working, it's replacing the like upscale dream NPC textures with low-scale, like low-resolution enemy textures. So once I disabled it, that glitch went away. Um, so originally I had fi I had recorded the whole last episode thinking it recorded and then ended it and then figured it out. Uh, and it's only when I went back, you know, recently and, and found out that I had only recorded like the first eight minutes of what was meant to be the last episode that uh, I realized I'd have to basically re-explain all of this. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's what's going on with Helmet Swap. I tried me messing with the load order to see if changing the load, load order could make it work with Dream, but it just doesn't seem to work. Uh, it seems like they're incompatible. So for anyone who's interested in getting Helmet Swap, uh, that's good to know if you have Dream, but that probably won't work, at least based on my experience. The other thing you all missed, as I mentioned, was a, a pretty cool uh, quest in uh, an inn that I went to. So after I collected all the gold bricks, um, we went to an inn to stay for the night, and I talked to someone in the inn who basically asked uh, me to help his brother with a bar fight, um, which of course I accepted. Uh, the brother tried to scam me, so I had to kill the brother as well. Um, after I helped him win a bar fight, he tried to basically leave me with no money, and hey, that must be the Witch's Covenant right there. This one was easier to find than the last one. I'm trying to remember if you all missed anything else. You found the Coven of Dust. Awesome. Um, take a look at my inventory here. If we got anything, you obviously saw me getting the Daedric Dai Katana. And we didn't sell anything at all yet, so... Yeah, I think you, you all didn't really miss anything much else. Oh, maybe... I don't know if you all saw me get the Daedric Right Pauldron, if I already had that. Uh, but yeah, I did get a Daedric White Right Pauldron too. I'm not sure if that was in the time that you missed or not. Anyways, here we are at the Coven of Dust. So we've obviously completed the Cartographer's Guild quest, but we could do something for the witches while we're here. Might be fun, right? Let's we'll save the game. And we do need to re-oil our lanterns up, so let me see where our oil is here. Where is the oil? There it is. So our lantern here should be good now. And I'm just going to swap this out for the other lantern. Uh, oop, didn't mean to do that. Do they all both go to the bottom now? Let's see. Oh, this one has oil. Does this one have oil? Oh, they both have oil. Okay, nice. So I'm going to throw one of them on. Here we are at the Coven of Dust, a witch's coven in the desert. Let's grab a quest from them. Can I just talk? Me help you? <laughs> right. Our sister Ro Rothka has been imprisoned. We need someone like me to rescue her. Of course I'm willing. Even though you were quite rude to me just then. If that does this for us, we will be very grateful indeed. Give her these clothes when to disguise her when you find her in Rolf Laboratory. We will expect you back here in 16 days, if not sooner. Okay, let's go. Roll laboratory. Here we go. I imagine the time has passed for us to rank up in the Knights of the Dragon finally, so when we go back to Daggerfall, we'll definitely go talk to the guild about doing that. So there is supposedly a laboratory. Here it is. Let me go ahead and set our recall spell, anchor ourselves here. Uh, we might as well rest for a little while. And now we can pull out... What is this plan? Oh, that's the robes to dress up uh, the person we're rescuing with. Let's put on our equipment. We can actually ditch all these ingredients into our wagon. It's just taking up inventory space. What do these boots do anyway? Power's unknown. Well, we'll just throw them in our wagon. I doubt we'll want to use them anyway, since we have Daedric to use, of course. Immediately we have these two uh, wheels that we can turn. Don't know entirely what they do, but I'd turn them anyway. Pacified Lich using etiquette skill. I didn't know that liches were... Uh, susceptible to smooth docking, but apparently so. Holy crap, that's, that's a little bit scary. Waiting to ambush me from the corner there. Why do we not... Where's our... Oh, here it is. We didn't have our uh, strength amulet on there. Holy crap, what's going on down here? We've got a... Ooh. 
I wanted to just check out the war that was happening, but fortunately this glitch really interrupted me, but now we can go join it. It's just absolute chaos going on down here. This guy isn't even reacting. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with this uh, NPC? What's wrong with you, man? You good? Might as well take everything. Take all of that, and then this this should take me back up, I assume, if I use this lever here. Oh god, does this squish me? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. Did not realize it went all the way up to some somewhere up there. My bad. We'll go back and use that soon. Okay. That just brings us back around. Let, let's bring this back down. Hop right on top of here. And head back up. This is a very, very long escalator. Where's the Daedra dying from? Is there a secret door? Maybe just in here? There's no, no one in here. Nothing in here. This is kind of a useless area. Now we have to take the long escalator ride back down. Where do we go next? I guess we go up, back up, <clears throat> from where we came. Where have we not checked? Okay, we didn't go up the staircase over in here. Yeah, okay, this is all new. Adamantium Daikatana, very nice. We can probably just sell our Mithril Daikatana at this point. It's been a lot more liches now, but we're at a higher level. I guess they're like standard high level enemies. What's this do? Brings that up, maybe? Ooh, I didn't mean to go down here, but I guess it's uh, too late. This brings us to where we already ha are, have been, actually. So we're going to hop on here. Go back up. Fight whoever was waiting for us to stay drop. And let's see. I'm going to turn left. No one in here? Okay. like there's some stuff going on in there. I'd love to go there, but it's being blocked off. Maybe this will, will lift it, perhaps? It did. This is the guy who killed the Daedroth earlier that we heard. We got a potion of resist frost. Money. I wonder what this does. that? Oh, that's not loot. Well, this looks like a door. Is it not a door? That is that is strange. Could this be what opens it? Huh. That is, that is really weird. A door that you can't get into? Or is it just like decoration? And a lock... Anything but a lock. Oh, our open spell actually worked. It's a miracle. Hello. Okay, nothing here. No lost witch yet. 
Where can we look that we have not looked already? Uh, if we just go straight down, not this way, but this way. Just go straight forward. We haven't gone in here. And we haven't failed a quest in a while uh, because of the small dungeons mod. It's made it a lot easier to complete quests. So uh, could this be the first one that we fail? I hope not. We certainly haven't looked everywhere yet, but we have been to a lot of places. Let's see. And with a small dungeons mod, it's easy to feel like you've looked most places. Not the small dungeons mod, by the way. It's, it's the... Uh, oh, this is where we haven't been yet. Okay, so to get there... We gotta go in the other entrance. Oh, a lantern died. Okay, hold on. Get our other lantern on here. Go left up here. Then, oh, we haven't even been straight ahead or or through here. And let's get a weapon of a lower quality out to bash this down with. I hear someone on the other side, so we're gonna have to pre prepare for a fight here. All right, who's waiting for me here? And equip times are, are uh, can be a little bit annoying, can't they? We're actually getting close to running out of inventory space here. Another lock. Another lock. Okay, okay. I know, I know. I'll be right there. Whoever you are. Oh, he opened it for me. Oh, God. I don't want to... Hold on. This is a little bit risky, but I want to try and get this open before I put this away. Just let him do what he wants to me while I uh, try and bash this open here. He doesn't even hurt that bad. Please just open. Door? Hello? Please? Holy crap, that took a while. Okay, okay, okay. Now... Now we can pull out our Dai Katana and take this guy out. Oh, there's two of them. Alright, nice. And I have no treasure. We do have some treasure here. Oh, lots of treasure. We're kind of low in inventory space, so we won't take the armor, but we will take uh, valuable ingredients. Really? Another walk. And the damsel, I bet that will even be in here, if it's appropriate to call a witch in distress a damsel. Nope, nothing in here. This is a bit of a dead end. Any secret doors, though? Doesn't seem so. Okay, well, let's actually take a rest here. Once we've removed our magic items, we'll re-equip our Daikatana and rest until healed. Our giantish skills improve for some reason that I don't know because I didn't see any giants in here. Now, there was a place that I saw that we hadn't been earlier. Ah, yes. If we go around here, we head up these stairs. We go this direction, we should find a place that's new. I think this is the area that we haven't really been to. For instance, we haven't been down here. goes quite far. Finally, we arrive. Ah, there she is. We found her. Being guarded by a Daedrith. 
uh, we're out of inventory space, I see. Oh, but that's only because we don't have our... Let's see. We need to re-equip all of our items here. Wait. Oh, wait. I removed them. I wanted to equip them. Uh-oh. Now I can't carry things because they're on the ground. That might have been a mistake. Now, I guess the only solution is to remove all of this stuff. Oh, my gosh. This is... <laughs> This is not something I want us to deal with. Hold on. We're going to have to remove everything so that we can re-equip it. Because we need to re-equip this stuff to get the inventory space back. Now, if we click here, we should be able to equip back all of this stuff and take everything. Never accidentally drop your enchanted item that's giving you extra inventory space. Unless you go through what I just went through. Okay. Here she is. Hello, ma'am. I'm here to rescue you. The Dust Witches sent you. Praise the Dust Witches. I'll put on the plain robes and we can slip out of here. I don't think we need to slip, honey. I think I can just uh, hack my way through everything uh, that we come across, to be quite honest. But we'll just teleport back. Wait, who just said that? Oh, hold on. Ouch. Is that someone trying to stop us? I did not expect that. I didn't know there'd be more prompts to this. Ooh, an Orcish Saber. Don't mind if I do. You know, since we're at the entrance here, I can throw all of my ingredients into the wagon and take all this loot. Oh, there's more people trying to stop us. Just let, let me leave in peace. I know she's a witch, but she deserves freedom regardless. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I gotta take you back to the coven now. I don't know if they'll chase us. I, d I did not expect there actually to be people that would spawn in to try and stop us, but let's travel back to the coven. First, I'll remove my enchanted items. And now we travel to the coven of dust. Here we are, back to your home. Interesting, so... No, well, we'll talk about this in a second. Uh, let's see. Return this quest. Wait, I, did I not, uh... Did I not finish it here? Did I not... I'm trying to just return her. Not, not, not... I'm trying to return the lady I have here. Or... Do you not ex want to accept her? Or what's going on here? I have her here. So they're talking to me as if I've already, like, finished the quest, but I haven't. I mean, she's, she's still standing here in my inventory. Is, is it still in my log? Uh, it's still in my log. I must disguise her. I must give her plain robes to disguise her and return to the Dust Witches before 13, 16 days has passed. Well, I've returned to them. I have her, and you're not all, uh... You're not accepting her. Is that, is that what's going on here? Is this quest glitched? All right, I've already done... This is the quest that uh, that didn't seem to work. Right. Well, uh... Wait, hold on. These people are still coming after me. How many of you do I have to take out? Do I have to take out more of them before uh, I can return her, or what? Hmm. Right, I'm not sure what's going on here, but we'll save the game. Let's see if we can load to a moment before all this happened. Surely that's not the last time we saved, was it? All the way back here. Did I not even save throughout that whole dungeon? Because uh, that's kind of risky, not gonna lie. We're still being chased by these men. Okay, what am I missing? What do I need to do? They've sent me to find... Yeah, find her. I'm to give her plain robes and return to the Dust Witches. Do I need to give her the plain robes somehow? Is that is that what I'm missing? It seems like she does have the plain robes on. She took it out of my inventory. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the problem is here. 
Well, we do have the game saved, so we can uh, just reload the save and play around with it, I suppose. But I'm tired of being chased by you men. Get me out of here. Hmm. Uh, I'll accept your quests. Okay, now you won't talk to me. Wait, was it? Am I talking to the wrong person? Who gave me this quest? Was it you? No. Is it you? I swear I talked to one of these people. Let's see. Okay. Uh, right. I thought it was because I hadn't talked to the person that gave me the quest, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So what we'll do is we'll actually load the save here when we got the quest. Did we get the quest here? Did we already pick it up or have we not picked it up at this point? No, this is before I picked the quest up. So we took the quest from what? This person? Let's see if we can get the same quest again. Rolp Laboratory. Okay. Let's just uh, let's just play around with this and see if we can figure troubleshoot what's going on here. Okay, this is Rolp Laboratory. Where is the entrance again? To the dungeon. It's hard to see at night. There it is. Okay, so let's just test this out. We go into the laboratory. Let's just TP to the... Uh, the sister that's imprisoned, since we've already found her. And then we'll... Uh, TP out. What's the command for that? Uh, Telly to exit, I think. Okay. And now what happens if we go back to... Oh, there's an enemy out here. Where? I don't see them. Oh. We take her out. We travel back to the coven. And try and return her. Will this work? Let's find out. It does my heart to see thee here and well. Tishin, you've earned the respect of the dust witches. Okay, so it worked that time. So let's just save the game here. Maybe it had something to do with that little... Uh, maybe I failed the quest when that little prompt came up? I'm not sure. If we didn't like sneak out successfully. Or what happens. But here we can try loading again right here. Yeah, clearly there's something glitched uh, in this particular instance of the quest. Um, well, it kind of sucks that we won't have any of a loot if we go with a save that isn't glitched, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, alternatively, I, I assume if we rest, someone will come after us, right? Yeah, so we'd be sort of trapped with enemies coming out, coming after us just never end endlessly if we kept the save, I assume. Unless we found a, a way to complete the quest, but I don't know what that way is so given that perhaps we just have we should we just ought to uh go with this save where we completed the quest but we didn't get any loot which does kind of suck but what can what so i guess we'll do that so yeah that was kind of sad but uh it was at least we did complete the cartographer's quest or we will have once we go back and talk to uh, whatever their name is let's see yeah, we had to go back to the, the joyish rebirth of Stendar um, and report that we found it. But I guess we'll wrap things up here with this view of the sunset. Uh, I know this was kind of a convoluted episode because uh, it was a bit disjointed. Um, so I hope it wasn't too confusing what happened. Uh, I hope I did, I did my best to sort of explain uh, what happened in the time from when the recording died to when I started recording again. Um, if not, then, well... I freed up a bunch of disk space, so in the future this should not happen. Uh, but regardless, uh, next time 
I'm not sure if I was going to say next time we could do a quest for the main mission that's nearby, like in Sentinel or Wayrest, since we're down here already. Um, and then obviously go and return this uh, coven, or not the coven quest, but the cartographer's quest. But since the coven quest like didn't work, um, which is kind of disappointing, I think we may do one more quest for them before we move on. But certainly we'll either do a quest for them and then do a main quest uh, quest over here in Sentinel. Or we'll do a quest straight for the main quest and then head back to Daggerfall and the Cartographer's Guild for our uh, reward. So thank you everyone for watching uh, and I will see you next time.